Hello everyone. Hope all of you are fine. So today we are going to start a new video. It's it's a follow-up video on just after completing our last video on regression, you could watch this video. It would be helpful for you to run regression analysis uh, while you have some categorical data. In the last video, we have talked about that um, there was one particular variable which was um, foreign car and we have used i dot foreign to run the regression analysis. Now, uh, we are going to elaborate more on this in this video that if you have categorical data, how you can run the regression. Of course, we are going to use i dot and the variable names to run the regression. But along with this, we are going to um, give you a brief snapshot of a brief, a snapshot of different kinds of um, command, how you can use them together to make several kinds of filter, as well as uh, multiple um, command you can run together uh, instead of writing multiple times we only single time you could use and it would run for the several variables so uh, for these purposes we are using a different uh, data here it's a uh, health related data we have and um, this particular data um, we are going to run on, on different variables but before we run the uh, regression we should start looking into the different variables that we are going to use but for this particular video First one is we are um, uh, showing a particular variable, which is a sector, which has two different observations. You could see one and two. Here specifically, one stands for rural sector, rural region, and two stands for the urban region or urban sector. So now the next variable that we are going to use, it's age group. So um, if we tablet the variable age group you could see there it's a categorical variable and it has, it has three different categories um, but our dependent variable in this case is a continuous variable that is log value of healthcare expenditure we have already created this variable before so i'm just showing you that how this variable actually looks like um oh sorry i, I have forgot to write tab here Oh. Yeah. So um, you could see it's a continuous variable with several observations. So I'm just stopping this. To stop this, you can click over this particular button, which is the break button here. So it would stop here. So now the next variable we are going to consider is MPC class, that is monthly per capita consumption expenditure class we have created based on their monthly per capita consumption. Uh, we have created this class and uh, it has actually, it has actually five different uh, classes. One, two, three, four, five. One stands for the poorest class, then poorer, then three is middle, then richer, then the richest. We have categorized the um, variables into five different classes. So next one is the gender and it is the variable name is sex. So you could see there are two types, two gender, male and female. Male stands for one and two stands for female. So likewise, we have different variables like religion, then social group, social groups in, in case of India, we have uh, civil tribes, civil caste, and you know, um, other backward classes and general caste. So we would like to see here uh, we have four different you know, groups here. One stands for civil tribe, or two stands for civil caste, three stands for other backward classes, and nine stands for general class. Similarly, we have um, IP hospital and uh, insurance group this kind of variable and um, we have another variable as state and it is the geographical uh, classic uh, ge uh, political classification of uh, india's different states and you could see it's a uh, number uh, starting from 1 to 36 india has um, 36 
states and union territories and we are including all these um, states and territory here now we would like to see how we can run regression using these variables so the basic regression what we have learned so far we could run like regress then my dependent variable is the log of healthcare expenditure and um, this particular variable log of healthcare expenditure depends on multiple factors and most of these variables are you know, um, categorical in nature so i'm just writing like uh, my first variable is i dot age group second one is i dot and basic class then third one is say i dot say sex fourth one say i dot religion group the religion group the next one say i dot social group next one say i dot um, patient hospitalization and i dot insurance group say and um, these are my variables we, are, we would like to consider so how many variables we are considering we have one dependent variable and one two three four six seven seven um two three four five six seven independent variables so we are running the regression we could see we are getting the results so in this case how to read this particular type of results you could see r square value is 32 percent but if you look at the um, these variables and um, this are statistically significant but how to read this so in this case uh, you could see each group had three different groups that we are getting the value for two and three what does it mean it means if in this case one is our reference category so compared to one what would be the value of your uh, log of healthcare expenditure uh, if you move from first age group to the second age group your log value of healthcare expenditure would be the uh, this much higher that means 10 uh, almost 11 percent higher so likewise if you move to uh, first to third category your expenditure would reduce by 23 percent or so and these are statistically significant also. So similarly, my MPC class, you can read this likewise, but only in the higher monthly per capita consumption expenditure classes, uh, it is giving you higher uh, log value of healthcare expenditure. That means it, healthcare expenditure increases by 11% if you move from first category to the fourth and fifth category. And this is statistically significant also. So similarly, compared to male, female have lower healthcare expenditure and it is statistically significant also, likewise. But what is our major concern here that this is for entire India. We would like to study this separately for the rural region, for the urban region, and for a particular age group. So how we can do that? So we would develop one by one. Suppose we would like to run separately for rural sector and urban sector. So the simple command here would be, you, we can use by sort. So what we are writing here, by sort. So by sort and then the variable name is sector. That means it would sort the variables, variable sector and accordingly it would run the regression. So let's see, if we run this, you could see this is my total result. So first result it's given for the rural region. And the second one, it's giving us the result for the urban region. So sector one and sector two separately we are getting. So now in this way we can use, if we have say, um, instead of sector, if we write it say state, it would run 36 set of regressions for each state and union territory. So what we are going to do, that in this case, we would like to use one filter here. So filter we use using the command if. So that means it would run the regression for each sector separately if these conditions hold. What is the condition? 
I'm giving a condition if my age group is not equals to zero. That means age group should not be zero while they would run this particular regression. So in this case, to write not equals to, there are two different ways. So I'm just writing one way that is, you have to write exclamatory sign and then equal. You know, um, if it is a condition like uh, in, it should be exactly equals to this, then you should write double equal. So not equals to, you should write exclamatory sign and then equal, then zero. If it is not zero, it would run. Then if you put enter, you could see it's running two regressions separately. And after the filter, that age group, it's not equals to zero. So in this way, you can give multiple filter using and here, like if age group not equals to zero, and say you can give the social group not equals to nine. So it would run likewise. So just to show you an example, I'm giving you and is g not equals to nine. So it's running. So with multiple filters, you could see it's running separately with multiple filters. If you check the observations, it will be more clear. Like see in the second sector in my last regression, there were 40,840 um, observations. But in this case, after the filter, it has reduced to 24,749. So in this way, you can use different filter in your analysis. Now moving further, if you, if suppose um, I would like to um, analyze it with some clustering of state because healthcare expenditure depends on difference. Uh, it varies different uh, state-wise uh, widely. So therefore we would like to study what is the um, healthcare expenditure after normalizing for state-wise variation, we can use another command here, which is cluster. Cluster within bracket, you should write the variable name that is state here and enter. You could see it's class, it's giving you the result after clustering the data. You could see the variables, um, uh, statistical significance, as well as the value of the variable. That is the coefficients values of this variable and their robustness, variable, uh, st robust standard error. All these values would uh, change accordingly. So hope you have been benefited with this video. If you are benefited and if you'd like to get more such video, please subscribe our channel and please press the bell icon. Thank you so much. Stay healthy, stay safe.